This week on Around the Corner, we're in Fayetteville at the Arkansas Air and Military Museum at Drake Field. Yeah, if you're into tanks, planes, trucks, it all can be found here. You can explore dozens. And while you're exploring, you can also check out the history of aviation through our cans and eyes. Oh, we've got our wings on. Check. Now, let's fly. Come on, let us start the tour. It's all on the wrist. <laughs> All right, so what you're going to find here is the history of Arkansas aviation going back to 1910. Shortly after the Wright brothers, they had their flight. We saw ours in Fort Smith. You're going to get to learn about these pilots up close and personal like Field Kinley here out of Pea Ridge. He's considered Arkansas's first ace where he flew in World War One and had 12 confirmed kills. Yeah, and you're going to even learn about more Arkansas pilots like Pierce McKinnon here who flew in Nazi Germany. You can see some of his actual artifacts like his jacket, the compass. You get to see it up close and personal. Personal. He was even known for painting a Razorback on the side of his plane honoring the home state. And speaking of Razorbacks, have you ever heard of the Flying Razorbacks? Well, local legend Max Hall, he actually came up with the name for his squadron while piloting helicopters. So a really neat thing about this is he was so proud of his home mascot. They helped paint this on the side of their helicopter door. He made sure that this door went on every single mission with him, no matter the helicopter. So dedicated to the cause that he actually saved this door after a helicopter crash in a jungle. <laughs> All right, so this is the massive hangar, the show floor, where you get to see everything up close and Oh, personal. yeah, it's really neat. I bet Zach, wait, where is Zach? I don't think you're supposed to be up there. I asked. It's okay. Now let's do a picture break. All right, stop focusing on me. You're going to want to check all this out. Some of the treasures you're going to find here on this tour, like this 1947 Air Coupe. This just isn't a regular 1947 Air Coupe. No, no, no. This is Sam Walton's 1947 Air Coupe, purchased back in 1954 for only $1,800. This so-called safe and docile airplane only requires minimal flying experience. They say it's as simple as driving a car. Now, this right here is an infamous Learjet. Come take a look. Do you know who Barry Sills is? Maybe the story down in Mina of the drug runs and the drug cartel. Well, Barry Sills owned this plane. Maybe you've seen the movie American Made. If not, the tour guides here will tell you all about the story and what maybe went on inside this plane. After that, it was used in air shows. And while you're on the tour, you'll make a stop in this hangar that's full of military planes and vehicles. How about story time inside a Vietnam helicopter? Yeah, they call it Soaring Stories, where you could say reading takes flight. Oh, I think they actually say that. Of our tour in the original terminal at Drake Field. Yeah, they've got more than 2,500 artifacts that they're rotating every six months. Yeah, you have to come learn about all this. We had a great time, right? Absolutely. Yeah. All right, we'll see you next time on Around, Around the, the Corner. corner.